All right, so this is uh, from China's Math Olympiad. It's 2021 problem seven. Fill in the blank is uh, regarding the counting. All right, so here we're saying that uh, we have a permutation of number one. Uh, this this represents a set of number one to 21. And this is a permutation of it. However, it's satisfied that uh, the absolute value of the difference of the final element, right, A21, which is the final element, is in sorted order, right? So the question is, what is the total number of such permutation, right? So why don't you pause the video, try to solve the problem, and when you're ready, let's continue with the answer. And this problem, I think, uh, is probably good to consider different cases for the actual value of the last element, right? In the permutation, it could be anywhere between 1 and 21. Now think about it. What if if a21 equal to 1, right? So in that case, the possible value of the difference to ai minus 1, right? So that is actually is going to be the two number two is going to be distance one, two, and everything. This is twenty, right? What what is what is the a i minus one? Right? If the last element is one, everything. If you want to arrange in the sorted order, there's one order to arrange, right? There's only one order to arrange. So, in that case, you only have one choice in terms of the satisfying the you know, the constraint here, right? This is a constraint, yeah? Now, what if n is a different number? Let's say number four, right? So, in other words, what is the possibility of a i minus four? Because we're going to consider the last m is four. So in that case, when you think about it, the distance here, um, has has like a symmetrical value here the same right this is going to be one this is going to be two right and this is going to be three everything else there's a unique value here right this is going to be four five so on so forth up to 17. now in order to sort them for this one there's no ambiguity there's no, okay there must be in that order but however for three to one here, each value, so for example, for, for the value number 3, you have two possible arrangements, right? Either 1, 7 or 7, 1. 2 is the same thing, and here is the same thing. Looks like the choices here really depends on the value that is, there's like a duplicate, right? there's like a, there's two, because this is an absolute value, right? There's symmetric here. So in other words, in this case, I would have 2 to the third different choices in terms of the arranging in the decreasing order, right? So I'm going to start from 17. In other words, the actual arrangement is going to be 21, yeah, 20, yeah, for this set, right? Yeah, and then uh, when you go to number 8, number 8, and, and then for the remaining uh, slots, yeah, final number, of course, we know that this is a 21 right and and here yeah this is the two choices right because uh, the absolute value the difference is one either either three five or five three yeah and here the same thing for this slot so it's going to be either two six yeah or six two right two six or six two and here the choices would be um, either one, yeah, or seven, or seven, one. So at each slot here, there is two choices. How many slots we, we, we need to consider? Three slots, right? So you can use the same argument to argue that up to maybe number 11, right? For the number 11, you're going to have, you know, ambiguity for this is, this is, uh, you know, distance one, distance two, 
and then you know for every um, value here you have uh, two choices so we have a pattern here so if a21 the value between like 1 right to 11 integers you have 2 to the i minus 1 choices right so if i equal 21 yeah now if you move over 21 right let's for example if it's over 21 let's let's, let's say at uh, this position right so it's really how many choices is actually the um, you know 21 minus whatever the value you take right so the three choices here if you are 16 then there's an ambiguity for uh, five numbers here right so and with five numbers here right so here to pair them up and then each would have two choices in other words in this case if a 21 the final number is in the range of you know greater than 11 so from 12 yeah then you have number of choices 2 to 21 minus minus i so so in the case of a 21 equal 18 the difference is there's no ambiguity for all the numbers up to here right so this this difference would be 17 would be 16 so on and so forth but come here the, the 16 is the final right and then for 15 and 17 yeah both are one one that's the two three four five yeah that's the difference this is going to be one two three four five so for in this case i have two to the fifth ambiguity right that that would be the numbers so in summary the total number of uh, such arrangement that satisfies the constraint is going to be you know the summation of when this is a basic case of the value of a21 right so it depends on the i's value if it's smaller equal 11 you, you have this if it's greater than 12 you're gonna have this right so recall that uh, when you do this summation from 1 plus 2 plus 2 to the k minus 1's power that equal to 2 to the k minus 1 right so that's a geometric sequence okay so using this fact so this is going to be equal to in the first case that it will be equal to 2 to the inference power minus 1 plus this in this case I would have 2 to the tenth power minus 1 all right so if you add them together so this is going to be 1 0 2 3 this is going to be 2 0 4 7 if you add them together the final answer would be 30 70 all right so that would be the answer all right so and um, hope you follow the steps and uh, this is a case where we count by looking at uh, all different cases for the last element right and then to examine the, what's the possible value absolute value in sorted order and then we we come we observe a pattern and this is the final answer all right thank you see you next time